Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to share with you my 75 gallon Hill Street Aquarium. This tank has gone through a lot of changes throughout the year and I felt it was time for another big change. So here's a look at my tank at almost three years ago when it was a bare bottom tank and I also kept a lot of goldfish and some community fish in here. And then here's a look at how the tank looked for the past two years now. As you can see, it was just loaded with all sorts of fish and was pretty highly planted as well. But after two years, I wanted something a bit more focused and my interest in the hill stream biotope species have been building so I decided to rescape my 75 into what you see today. My goal for this aquarium was to simulate the hill stream environment and to create a lot of various areas where the fish could display their natural behaviors. There's a lot of places to hide, there's places of high flow as well as slower moving sections of the aquarium. And it's pretty interesting to observe how the different species enjoy different sections of the tank. I really wanted to create a lot of height in the scape, which is one of the more challenging things to create in this tank. So let's talk a little bit about how I put this tank together. I did end up adding a frosted background. It was a pretty easy process. I just sprayed on some soapy water um, in the back and plopped the frosted background on there and smoothed out the bubbles. I also added this um, egg crate light diffuser on the bottom of the tank in order to protect the bottom of the glass from the hardscape. In order to save on costs, I decided to fill some cheap laundry bags full of cinder lava rocks. But the great thing about lava cinders is that it, it's also very arid, um, enough to create a lot of living spaces for beneficial bacteria as well. And then after adding a bunch of rocks, both purchased from my LFS and found in my backyard, and adding two different sizes of sand substrate to the tank, here's what I ended up with. It might still be somewhat of a work in progress as I'm not sure if I'll be adding more plants or not, but let's get into the stocking. I added a pretty large school of these long fin white clouds. A lot of these are actually ones that I've bred in my fish row myself as I only started with six of them. I also have three rainbow shiners in here and I can't wait for them to fully color up. My favorite Corridoras, the Adolphi Corridoras. I also have a few of these Pandagora. They're a pretty active bunch, really fun to watch. The Borneo Sucker Hillstream Loaches. These guys were the original inspiration for this aquarium. They're such a unique fish and they're actually quite social with each other. It's pretty interesting to observe. This is my Saddleback Hillstream Loach. This guy really steals the show. A pretty unique and rare fish in the hobby and super cool looking too. The Farla Willow Twig Catfish. I've always been fascinated with these guys, so I just had to include them here. Also, the Whiptail Catfish. I also have a Red Lizard Whiptail. And four of these Royal Whiptails, too. I also have a pair of these rainbow gobies, which I'm really enjoying. And last but not least, what was sold to me as this hummingbird tetra. But after googling it, I'm not so sure that's what it was. Um, if you know what this fish is, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. 
I do hope to get a few more species for this tank as soon as I'm able to source them. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm thinking maybe some Stiphodon gobies and maybe some Scarlet gobies, also known as Rhino gobius joai. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed a look at this aquarium. Thanks for watching. <laughs>